Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 9 of Gigi Harm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honey, honey. How can I when the love of my life possibly is flirting with every girl in college? <laughs> Excuse me? This is a nightmare. Yes, yeah, she's worried about you. <laughs> Well, because of what you said last time. You said literally a, home, a girl asked you out.
I mean, now if I was like <laughs> doing a web chat on someone with Discord and like let's say it was my boyfriend and it's like happened, I would just do this the same way too. Be like, oh, what happened? Oh, I don't know. No. I better not be getting sick again, I swear to God. Kind of looks like Daya. So what? Seriously? <laughs> no, I don't think they're mean. I think they're just honest.
it's not what you think, not like that. Oh my god. Trying to do a tongue twister? Oh. Right? Because, I mean, that's what I assumed you would have done. You know what I kind of want? And, and I had it a couple of days ago, but theirs was okay. I want pizza. Maybe I'll get pizza tomorrow night for dinner. I love how I'm thinking a day ahead. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was about to be some confession or something. Well, why do you think that? Huh? 
Ah, uh, okay. You were... There, there's something about her with her acting that is vastly on a different level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me, any any anime I watch with Sony Hyman, like s straight up. Anytime she has a performance, I can't look away. Love her so freaking much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I wonder how that's going to go next week. It could go any freaking way. But it's funny how, like, yes, um, someone <laughs> in the new drama club for Rin comes up to her wanting and needing advice and being like, okay, because you are so, like, <laughs> you're so good at your craft and you've honed it for, like, so many years and you know, you've done so many things to make up better. Um, I love how someone came for advice and such and being like, oh, I'm so ex inspired by you and such and how you can do, like, switch something, like, snap of your fingers and how you can do this to this to this to that. Da, 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 da. Um, that's like me on my new job. I'm wondering how the heck they all do everything that they're doing and such because they're, it's a lot of information to know, um, within a certain amount of price time during your day ish because I just got off like an hour ago probably by the time y'all see this it'll be like two hours later um but no even her going to the co his college that was sweet I love the fact that he she got to meet like his classmates and stuff that was really sweet and she'll be like well yeah you're fucking popular as hell like and we can't be together anymore because like Someone confessed to you. I, I know that. Like, poor baby. <laughs> you gotta feel for her. <laughs> yeah, that's y'all. Are you?
But no, seriously, with the other girl, I, I did ask that she was going to confess to her. Especially with the fact that she's like, can I speak to you alone? And such. I'm like, are we are we getting co- a, a confession here? Like, hold, I'm be like, mm, sorry, but I'm th- I'm taken. Mm, 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 can't do it. No, as much as I would, you know, love to say yes, I am taken. But no, 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 no. I do also get like because yes, getting inspired by someone else or just being in awe of them. Because yeah, once again, Saudi Hymen is like literally, uh, as because I've had this conversation with like multiple people. Um, I had already knew about her as a seiyu and a couple of things that she was in, but I just didn't know her name and such. And so during the, I, I, okay, I hate to call this, it's not really a phase, but let's call it like an era. Um, there was a moment where like after high school or like even begin like in between high school, I was still watching anime, but not as much because I was super busy with school. And then when I finally got out, I was like, Oh, I'm going to freaking watch it and everything. But I didn't do reactions until of course, 2016. Um, I like to call the first year of my uh, YouTube career or like the first couple of months, like the hell on earth. If you could say for me, like that was truly my, my hell. I I, I, mm, I hated it so much. Even till now, I still dislike the journey of getting to, like, your first 100 because it's literally the hardest thing to do. You, 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 the biggest thing is I will tell people about it is you really have to be dedicated on what you're doing and such. It could, whether it is one thing or it's, like, multiple things. Because, like, I think when, when I started, I was just doing Kingdom Hearts stuff. And then I had this weird ounce of being like, well, why don't I just do anime? I was like, I love anime just as much as Kingdom Hearts, if not more, and such. And so maybe people might like it. And now look at where the fuck I am. But during that time, um, there was a series that I got into that she's in, that she plays one of my best girls. And so not only her as a seiyu and stuff, but um, the character that she played as a voice actress really got me through a lot of tough times and tough days, whether it was this or just anything else in my life. So I listen to a lot of her music, especially when I have a day, like I feel like today, I haven't listened to her today because I had a moment today at work and I really wanted to go off on somebody. Um, But you know, you can't. As much as you want to, you can't. So, um, I think probably after I'm done with everything, I'm just probably going to sit and listen to her music because it really calms me down and such. If I ever get the chance to meet her, I will probably cry. So bad. (laughs) It's so, so bad. (laughs) It's like, I feel like if any of y'all had ever met me, I don't know if anybody would cry. I know I probably cry because ish. That's just me. Uh, I'm an emotional person and I'm a hugger in this show. But like, oh my god, don't hug me. Like, I love you. You're so freaking adorable and such. But you'll probably see me crying for like a good two minutes. Maybe. Depending on the day. But no, 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 no. This was such a sweet episode. I'm very excited to see how their summertime is going to go. With, you know, the fact is that AG is now in college and stuff. He's going to have a lot more free time. I do hope that when we do get into summer that he has a summer job or an intern where he still is getting at least some ounce of money hopefully fingers crossed but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of gg harm if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single night join the Metro squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 10 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye